Hello and welcome to Oweleke TV News. I am Dokas Asogba. The news headlines. Federal government plan to tamper with pension funds. In business, Nigerian earned 318.5 billion naira as quarter one revenue. On the foreign scene, Prince William is furious over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's talk. In sports, a Yumba International FC on expansionist mission. Welcome back. Now the news in details. Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka has called on President Bola Tinubu to communicate with Nigerians about when his policy will start yielding positive results. Kuka highlighted the widespread pain caused by recent policy decisions, acknowledging they were unintended but stressing the need for clear communications. During his visit to the presidential villa on May 14, 2024, Bishop Kuka met with President Tinubu to discuss an upcoming conference on national cohesion organized by Kuka Center. He emphasized the necessity to Im of improving government communication to help Nigerians understand the timeline for relief and improvement. The 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, said the move by the federal government to deploy 20 trillion naira pension fund for infrastructure development could lead to disastrous consequences for Nigerians. This was as he called for an immediate halt to what he termed another attempt to perpetrate illegality by the federal government. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edo, on Tuesday has stressed that the initiative is to deploy the pension fund was to stabilize the economy amid elevated inflation and interest rates. Atiku, in a statement obtained from his verified Facebook page on Wednesday, described the action by the federal government as misguided. Atiku therefore cautioned that if not promptly stopped, the initiative could have disastrous consequences for hardworking Nigerians who rely on their pensions after retiring from services. The federal government is set to tackle the power challenge in Nigeria with an additional 500 million standard cubic feet of gas in the domestic market. The government said it would also enhance industrialization and create more jobs with more gas supply into the na nation's economy. President Bola Tinubu disclosed this this Wednesday while inaugurating three critical gas infrastructure projects executed by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, CEPLAT, Energy and other partners in Ohaji, Egbema and in Himo State and Kwale in Delta State. Tinubu reiterated its determination to utilize Nigerians' abundant gas resources towards revamping the nation's industrial growth and kick-starting its economy prosperity. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. The Senate has urged President Bola Tinubu to bring back the autonomy of the local government council and to stop further allocation of funds to caretaker committee led local government areas. The Senate arrived at the resolution after deliberating on a motion by Senator Suleiman Kawu Kano. The motion, which was moved by at Wednesday plenary and entitled Urgent Call on President to Resuscitate Local Government System in Nigeria, also urged the President to champion the cause of full autonomy for local governments in the nation, adding that empowering local government holds the key to unlocking a brighter future for all Nigerians. The Registrar National Examination Council, Professor Ibrahim Wushishi, says compl complexity of its examination may not allow for immediate migration from paper to computer-based tests. Wushishi was speaking during an interactive session with newsmen on key milestones achieved by Council in Abuja on Wednesday. He said that by being the body conducting the largest number of examinations migrating to CBT will take a gradual step. 
and business the accountant general of the federation mrs oluwato imadeni yesterday said total revenue inflow to the federal government in the first quarter of 2021 amounted to 318.5 billion naira she disclosed this during a hearing by the house of representative committee on finance to monitor revenue by agencies of the federal government represented by the director of revenue expenses felix ogundairo she said this was against the total expected revenue of 2.591 trillion naira for the year 2024. Mm -hmm. she added that a reconciliation of the figure has still was still ongoing and was still declared is what is available at the moment Madeni expressed confidence that it will be an exceptional year in terms of revenue for the country, based on the policies of the present administration. Up next are the stories on the foreign scene after the break. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oleket TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have steered controversy with their recent visit to Nigeria, leaving King Charles and Prince William absolutely furious. According to royal expert Tom Quinn, the Duke and du Duchess of Success were in the African country over the weekend to promote the Invictus game. As mentions, mentioned by Miro, despite their intention, they have faced criticism, with some labeling the trip as an official royal tour. In entertainment, the results of the autopsy conducted on the body of the late singer Ileri Oluwa Aloba, a.k.a. Mobad, is said to have been unable to ascertain the cause of his death. A senior advocate of Nigerian Wahab to disclosed this while addressing the press at the coronal inquest held in Lagos State on Wednesday. According to him, the pathologist in charge of the autop autopsy told the coroner that the diseased body has, had decomposed by the time the test was conducted. And in sports, Nigerian Professional Football League and Continental Soccer record holders, Eyimba Football Club FC, of Aba has commenced the implementation of the expansionist idea that will spread the club franchise. Further past its current torrent, the club sporting director, ex-international Ifai Ekweme, has disclosed. Ekweme speaking in Kano last Tuesday further revealed that the club management under the pilot of Atlanta 96 Olympic football gold medalist Kano Ankwa has embarked on the implementation of a newly designed development template that will stampede the influence of the club franchise on Nigerian, African and international football crime. And just before we go, here is a recap of the headlines. Federal government plans to tamper with pension funds. In business, Nigerian earned 318.5 billion naira as quarter one revenue. On the foreign scene, Prince William is furious over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's talk. In sports, a Yimba International FC on expansionist mission. And that's the package on our news bulletin. Kindly follow us on all our social media platforms at Oweleke TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv. I am Dorcas Asogba. Many thanks for watching.